Hello, this is Unbrick Me here with a look at the LEGO Star Wars TIE Fighter Helmet 75274. First of all, I want to tell you that this thing is absolutely amazing. And after watching the review, if you would like to buy this for yourself, I'll have a link down in the description and the pinned comment where you can purchase this set. Now let's get on with the review. First of all, its front looks absolutely astonishing, especially these two top Imperial logos over here. These are not stickers, these are printed elements, which I absolutely appreciate, especially considering this is an 18 plus set. That's right, this set is geared towards adults, I mean, that's insane. LEGO has always been a toy company, and this is something new that they're doing, and it's something that I appreciate a lot. Looking down over here, you will see the two eyes and the nose piece. I really love how these two are shaped, you know, they're using nice building techniques, stuff like that. Um, over on the nose piece you will find two printed elements but also two stickers here on the sides. I don't know why they did stickers instead of printed elements, I really don't. Just considering that those two are stickers, I mean, <laughs> it drives me nuts. Over on the bottom we see these two oxygen tubes. Now I really like how they're built because inside they actually use one of these uh, plastic flexible tubes and these pieces sort of go on top and then they flex like this. So it's a really nice building technique and I think that a lot of mock makers are really gonna appreciate this as well. On the bottom here you will find a stand with a nice plaque saying Lego Star Wars TIE Fighter Pilot. Now this piece is printed. Just insanity. I, I really appreciate printed pieces, come on. No more stickers, especially for the UCS stuff. Come on, let's get this going, printed stuff only. All right, so on the sides, I mean, it's not really like anything too special, but I do really like how all these elements sort of create that nice curvature effect. It, it, it really is nice. Um, I do wish that they use uh, a lot more snot pieces, studs not on top, but you know, what can you do? It's Lego, it's always been like this. You know, down the middle of the helmet, I really do appreciate this smooth curvature piece over here because it really does separate the middle part from the helmet, so it, it does add a lot of depth to the model. And over on the right hand side of the helmet, we will see even more building techniques used over here. This is just really, really awesome. I do really appreciate it. I mean, looking at it from all sides, it's just an insane helmet. I really do appreciate it, especially when you put it together with like the TIE Fighter, for example, it's really gonna look nice, I, I feel like. It also does blend in very, very smoothly with the stand. You know, I, I do appreciate all these intricate details and stuff like that. So the final question is, is it really worth $60? I say yes. First of all, it is an 18 plus set, meaning LEGO can get away with slightly higher pricing. I mean, a lot of people do argue that it is pretty small. Honestly, I don't feel that way, because first of all, it is much larger than my iPhone. It does feel like a 700 piece set. I mean, sure, it's not as big as your average play set, but if you really appreciate all the detailing and stuff and how intricate it looks, it really does give that feeling of awe and it's gonna be a nice conversation starter if it just sits on your desk. I'd like to say that this set comes with 724 pieces. That's insane because it is well below the 10 cent per piece price point and if you're looking to get a really really nice deal, I say this is the perfect set to do so. I mean, it's supposed to cost $72 but it only costs $60. That's just insane in my opinion. It, it's, it's a really, really nice deal. If you'd like to buy this or the Stormtrooper or the Boba Fett, I'll have links down in the description and the pinned comment. If you want to see how it stacks up against the Boba Fett and the Stormtrooper, subscribe to my channel right now so you don't miss those reviews. All these helmet sets are actually part of the LEGO 40th anniversary of the Empire Strikes Back movie. This is Yarn Brick Me here and I'll see you in the next one.